Hi guys, it's Angela Kaufman from GroceryShrink.com and I'm just going to show you really quick how I use Excel to figure out a reasonable budget for a project. Um, sometimes I, if I already have an, a set amount of money I can work from that, but in this case um, I know I don't have enough money and I want to look and see what I need to earn and what my target rate is. So I'm going to click over to Excel. Um, so I just merged a big long thing for our Kaufman living room plan. I just started going down the side of the things I wanted to include. So I started with this column. I just labeled my project. So this is the coffered ceiling project. I need one by six by eight select pine boards. I'm going to get them at Home Depot and they're 1083 a board. I need 18 boards. And for this one, I made a formula. I just typed in equals my unit price times my quantity times and then I did my sales tax 0 0.08 and then that calculates it for me and then over here on the total price I just did a formula equals my unit price times my quantity plus whatever the shipping and taxes is going to be and then I kind of made that formula for both of these columns going across for everything um, oh so on this one there's no shipping or taxes on Amazon. So here, um, so I've got my fabric for my slip covers right here, white denim from fabric.com, $7.17 a yard, 20 yards, and then there's no shipping or taxes on that. And so for the window seat foam, I'm going to use a um, egg crate mattress topper from Walmart in the twin size, and if I cut it, and fold it across. I've got then a six inch piece of foam there for $21.98. I went ahead and looked at um, Joann's and Hobby Lobby to see what I could get foam there for and their widest I think was three inches and it was going to be around $60 to get the size I needed for that window seat so this was definitely the way to go. Um, so I'm just going down uh, window treatments Amazon um, I'm just doing bamboo simple bamboo shades so I'm getting one of those I have zero of these and then here I'll make my formula. On the formulas, what this allows me to do is if I refigure and find out like on this coffered ceiling that I need 20 sticks or only 17 sticks, I just change that number and then all of these other numbers change to go along with it. And then I have um, a formula here that just adds up my total so far. Whoa. Um, I don't know why it says, oh, formulas, it's, it's got a, an alarm there because these forms are empty so far. Um, there's some things that I haven't put in yet. Um, like I started with the bookcase, um, and just the plywood and that's going to be $216 just for the built-ins on the side, not including the bench seat. I'm still figuring up measurements on that. And then I also have electrician for the wiring um, and then I'll have a drywall guy to skim coat the ceiling and so things are starting to add up really really quickly um, I'm just gonna type in a number I think my electrician's gonna be around 300 I think the drywall guy is also gonna be around 300 um, and then like a rug um, I usually get mine from rugsusa.com and I put that in the wrong column. Watch this when the hand appears. I can just move it over. Um, this is, I'm looking for a 9 by 13 just because that room is super big. And the one I picked out is $400, which is starting to scare me on the price. And there's no shipping or taxes. Whoops, one rug. Okay. And so then um, my budget starts to change as it goes up. So right now I have about $700 saved for this room, so you can see it's not going to be enough, which means um, I might wait on the rug. I'm, I'm probably going to definitely wait on the coffered ceilings. I really want to get those window seats, and um, that's a priority for me. Oh, oh, I forgot um, hardwood floor installation. Usually my husband does that, but he, he hurt his back, and he's not going to be able to do that this time, and we got a quote for $600 for that. So that's kind of where most of the cash I have saved is going. Um, I'm just going to be paying my workmen, so my um, 
hardwood floor, the electrician, and the drywall guy. If we were in a healthy place where we could do these things ourselves, that'd be 1200 bucks we'd be saving. I try not to think about that too much. So at least I know where, um, kind of how much money I'm going to need to earn. Also over in this um, column over here, I like to put a link to the stuff I've picked out just to help remind me um, where I'm going to buy it. And then if I have, let's just say that my budget's $5,000 then I can set up a formula Ooh. I used to start a formula with equals I did it wrong oh there we go and then um, for this one I'll just do equals this minus this all the way down and then if I keep filling in these cells sometimes it'll allow me to drag it and it'll um, yeah, I think it worked. I think it intuitively drug my cells over, so it lets me know how much I have left in my budget at this point. So, kind of fun stuff with Excel. Why don't you leave a comment and tell me what you think. How do you do a budget for a room? And uh, we'll all learn from each other. How do I close this?